Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic um, and a puzzle that actually we got sent quite a long time ago um, but we are getting around to it today so apologies to Peter Guo from Taiwan, a math student who um, came up with this and I hope he hasn't stopped watching the channel in the three months since he sent it. Anyway, I'm going to have a go at that today. Um, do remember the rather impressive um, graphics on the Looney Tunes um, sandwich hunt that is our Patreon reward content for the month. That is, as I say, available on Patreon. Thank you very much to anyone who supports us. We are getting a lot of correct entries in. Also a few wrong entries who seem to have understood the rules and not come up with the right answer. But well done to anybody who's sent the right answer in. There will be a draw on the 20th for a, or closing on the 20th anyway, for a piece of merchandise. And uh, we welcome all entries and feedback on the competition. So that's going on on Patreon, where there's also solutions, a solution document for um, the murder mystery hunt and a solution video of great length for the heat wave puzzle pack grockle's amazing collection of thermos and slow thermos then on the links under our video you can reach all our apps including of course arrow sudoku which this puzzle is all about uh, there's also merchandise i'm even wearing some today there we I don't know if you can see that, but there we go. Um, and loads of great stuff there. People who've got it love it for some reason. I think there was a price change by the supplier lately. Uh, let's hope that hasn't um, affected sales. Anyway, do, or let's hope it has, if it, if it worked well. I honestly don't know. Anyway, we will get into that sort of stuff at some other time. Let's have a look at this puzzle. This is called Long, Long Arrow. I don't really know why, because the longest arrow is four cells, and I suppose maybe if you count the whole length of this arrow and arrow and circle, that's pretty long. Um, but normal Sudoku rules apply. Digits along an arrow add up to the number in the attached circle, so those three add up to that. The clue outside the grid, that's this 38, gives the sum of the indicated diagonal. So those eight cells add up to 38. Digits may repeat on arrows or diagonals, but of course they can't break the normal Sudoku rules, which is um, no repeats in each row, column, or three by three box. So do give it a go on the link under the video. I understand it is a fun solve, and uh, I'm gonna try it now. Let's get cracking. Um, Right, and this, this longest arrow that we do have, a four cell arrow, that has to total at least seven because those three cells, um, the most they can be is one, two, three, and that's six, and then there's another one here. So it's got to add up to at least seven. In fact, those cells have to contain a one because now there's that extra digit. They can't add up to more than eight. Any three cells adding up to six, seven, or eight have a one in. This has to be a one, two, or three as well to make this work. And those are just the deductions from the long arrow and that really doesn't get us very far. There's a lot of arrow cells up here. So, ah, okay. This actually now can't be one, two, three because it would clash with that. So this cell is also seven, eight, or nine. Let's mark those two as six, seven, eight, or nine, because um, they're picking up a three cell arrow. Oh, hang on, no, actually, these are much more restricted. This is good. Yeah, there, there are five arrow cells in the same column from this circle, and that's important. Those five arrow cells must add up to at least 15. One plus two plus three plus four plus five is 15. And that means the value of two, if those add up to 16, then this is an eight. If they add up to 18, it's a nine, and no smaller number is possible. So the same applies in this row. There is a lot of actual, I'm finally seeing there's a fair amount of symmetry around this diagonal in this puzzle, which is only broken by this arrow 
and the fact that these two point different ways, which is interesting. Yeah, odd. Anyway, um, right, but these two circles, they work the same. And if these numbers have to add up to at least 15, in fact, then they add up to 16, which would have to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, or 18. So, ah, okay, so the other way of looking at this is that these six cells add up to either 3 times 8 or 3 times 9. That's because if this is 8, they're 8, and they're 8, and that's 8. So that's three lots of 8. Same if it's 9. So these cells add up to either 3 lots of 9, which is 27, in which case these 3 add up to 18. Same is true over here. What does this do? If that's an 8, these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8. Ah, then these have to be 9, 5, 7. And that's fine. They can be 9, 5, 7. But these can't both be 9, 5, 7, because there's not enough 5, 7s and 9s in box 7 to do that. Therefore, both of these can't be 8, because that would make these impossible to fill. So, at least one of them is a 9. Ah, and that's lovely, isn't it? And one of those 9s is therefore seeing this cell, which can't be a 9. So that is 8 or 7. Oh, I've just noticed there are 5 arrow cells in box 8 and also in box 4. Right, these five cells have to add up to at least 15. We know that. This one can be 8 or 9, but this now has to be at least 6. Uh, the same must be true here. Those must add up to at least 15. That's 8 or 9. That's at least 6. Now, that doesn't stop any of these being 8s. What about this? I don't know. That, that could be 2, 3, 4 if this was a 1. It doesn't feel that interesting. These arrows are very unhelpful, actually. They could be as little as 4 at the moment as the total. So they're not very interesting if you had 1. No, if you had 1, 1, 2, they could be a 4. And totaling the arrows in that box, for instance, doesn't really... Oh, hang on, though. Ah, how about totaling these three, those two, and those three, and that one? Let's go crazy. Right. What is the minimum for those six? It's one, two, three, four, five, six. That is... 21. I'm not getting that wrong. The minimum for these three is 1, 2, 3. That's 27. And that is summing these three circles and this cell, which can add up to 9, 8, 9, and 3 is 29. Ah, there's a couple of degrees of freedom there. I was hoping not to find. Okay, we can't get any further with that. Let's... I'm wondering about this. Can these both... If these both couldn't be nines, then one would be an eight and we'd get this fixed. Can they both be nines? Let's just have a think about that. Now, if these were nines, these add up to 27, then... This lot adds up to 18. This lot adds up to 18. Ah, oh, okay, let's think of... Well, this may not make any difference, but let's think about... I'd forget whether they can both be 9s. Let's say, what if this is an 8? 
then they are both nines. So I'm saying this is an eight. And we just worked out that these three add up to 18. If this is an eight, there are nines in both of these. And suddenly these cells have to be six and seven because they both see an eight and a nine. And we're adding up these cells to 27 plus eight is 35. So these two have to add up to 10. Same is true for those two. And they've got a six and a seven in. And that's an eight here. So these are six, four and three, seven. Yes, that won't work. That's absolutely amazing. Right, what won't work there is this little arrow off the eight. So what I'm saying is, if this is an eight, because we get nines here, we've got six, seven here, these dominoes have to add up to 10 each. So they are, in some order, don't know what, six, four and seven, three. And once you've used three, six and seven, in the box, you cannot make the sum for eight here in two cells. So eight is impossible, and that is our first digit, and is a seven, and is a remarkable piece of construction to make that work. Now that's incredibly helpful, because I now know that this is a one, two, three set, and that's a one. I've just worked out I could have reduced that to th one or two and only had one degree of freedom Oh, on this sum, which has now become complete, I think. Right, let me try this again. So, okay, let's ignore that cell. Let's just add these five, which have to be a minimum of 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6, which is 20, plus these three cells, which have a minimum of 6, being 1, 2, and 3. That's 26. The maximum those three circles can be is also 26. And we are basically donezos with all of that. So we've got nines in those. We've got an eight there. We've got a one, two, three triple here. That one can't be a one, obviously. We've got two, three, and four on the nine. That's a five, six pair. I mean, we are just flying suddenly out of nowhere. Right, these can't be sevens. Ah, that is now an eight. Now, did I work out these both couldn't be eight? Yes, I did earlier. Because these would both have to add up to 21 and be 957. So that's a nine. Right, this eight now has one, three, four here and two, six here, because those are the digits that make up 16. This is nine and five. Uh, these two, that's 27, plus 7 is 34. These two add up to 11. That's now got to be 8, 3. The 7 arrow is now 1, 6. Wow, this puzzle is so clever. I really love that. I mean, the way those arrows, they were working so hard on this cell. It's brilliant. Right, come on, let's keep going. We've got... Uh, so this can't be a 1 because that's not a 7. So this, there's a 2-3 pair. So those two are both 1s. Those two are both not. This is an 8-7 pair at the top. In fact, we've got an 8 down here, so it's not a pair. Now that 7 arrow is... I don't know. Could be anything. Um, this... Don't know. Ah, oh, down here, this eight arrow is now two and six because of that one, three, four. Right, do we know what to put on this? Yes, there's got to be a six on one of these arrows, and it can't be up here because three has gone in the column. So this is a one, two, six triple. Um, I can put the one in. In fact, that's a two, three pair, so I can resolve those, and that resolves three and two in the middle. This is a brilliant puzzle, isn't it? Five and four up there. Now, what about this? Can't be three six, it's four five. That fixes the two and the four. We've got a six there, so the one and the six are finished. Lovely, 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 lovely. It's so neat. Um, two, three, one, eight, nine. 
I don't think we can use this 38 diagonal. We've got almost, we've got a six on it and nothing else. It's a very averagey sum. I don't know what that's doing in the puzzle. I almost feel like we've got enough information that once we get something going on this, we're going to finish, but I don't know. Anyway, this can't be more than eight. That is a seven. So the most these arrows, including this, can add up to is 15. Um, so the most these can add up to is 13. And that is definitely going to need a one. Two, three, four, and five adds up to 14. Yes, there must be a one in those arrows. So I'm going to put a one in one of those two cells. I now know where the one is on this arrow. And in fact, I can do this whole arrow, one, four, three, and I can do this one, I've just noticed, six and two. So do these need a two on as well? I think I'm looking at this the wrong way. Ah, this cell sees a five, six pair, two, one, nine. It can't be three and four anymore, so it's seven or eight. Right, what's that telling me? Oh, I'll tell you, here's something nice. That can't be a two, six pair on the eight arrow, because what happens to that cell? Right, so that's three and five, six and two there. This now can't be a two, that can't be a three. In fact, the two, six is finished, and we can place the two. I don't think I can place the three and four yet, but I've now got a four. Well, I've had that for a while, but anyway, five and four are fixed. This can't be four, three. So it's either one five, sorry, two five or one six. Um, what about this? That can't be a one. This has to be a one, I think. It sees two, four, and three, and five. And it can't be a six, so that is a one. That means that's a five, two arrow. Now, what's going on here? If this was seven, Oh, well, look, this also now sees one, two, three, six, five. So that has to be a four. This now has to be a three, and this is an eight, and that arrow is done. I think all our arrows are done. We just have to sort out that. So our only clue left is this crazy little killer that we've still got. We've got two digits for it and nothing else. Right, I, and I would have thought from here this is going to solve... Yeah, there's a naked single. This row just fills itself in. Three up here. This box is finished. How are we going to need that clue for anything? I don't really get it. Um, I just feel like we're on the home straight here. I mean, it must disambiguate something at the end, I suppose. Right, six in the central column is there. And there's an eight, nine still to go. Eight, three... Oh no, we've got two threes here. That's because what I've written down here was a misprint for a six. That's all right, isn't it? Sorry about that. Sorry if you've been screaming as I did that. One, seven, four. It's just a typo. It's not that bad. Six there, we get a five, seven pair. Nine and three, that does sort out this eight and nine pair. Five and four, everything is coming. I mean, this is now pretty straightforward. Five, seven pair to resolve there. One, two, six, nine, four. That four has fixed the five, four pair. That fixes the seven, five pair. Three and eight. Yeah, they're done. Everything's done. What do we need the clue for? Two, six, eight, nine, three, one. That's five or seven. Oh, four has to go there, so that's... Ah, there's a deadly pattern. Right, that's what it's going to do. No, we've got two deadly patterns. Uh, two deadly patterns left, and lo and behold, both touch this diagonal, don't they? So let's add it up. We've got um, 2, 8, 14, 17, 21, 24... We need another 14 to get to 38 from these two cells. 
And I think they therefore both have to be 7. Yeah, that is the only possibility. So we get 7s in all of those cells, a pair of 8s, and a pair of 5s to finish. And that really is an elegant puzzle. I mean, it hasn't taken that long, but you do need the insights about how these long, long arrows are limiting this cell on its own long, long arrow. And I mean, that is clever. I really like that. That's a very neat bit of work from uh, Peter Guo. We're, we're very pleased he wrote. I hope he gets to see this video. Um, fantastic. So thank you very much, as always, for watching us on the channel. And uh, hope you have a very good day tomorrow. And I uh, hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.